Imagine holding Earth's entire history in your hands, four and a half billion years compressed into a short story. It's a tale of fiery beginnings, dramatic changes, and the slow, steady march of life. Understanding our planet's past helps us appreciate the present and prepare for the future. Let's travel back in time. We'll witness the birth of our planet and the amazing journey that led to us. It's a story filled with wonder, excitement, and important lessons. From molten rock to the first signs of life, we'll uncover the secrets of our planet's past. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this incredible journey through time, our destination, Earth, four and a half billion years ago. Our story begins in chaos, a time when the universe was a swirling mass of gases and dust, a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. The solar system was young, a newborn in the vast expanse of space with a bright sun at its center and a chaotic array of debris orbiting around it. Dust and gas swirled around our newborn sun creating a turbulent environment where particles collided and merged. Over millions of years, gravity, the invisible hand of the cosmos, pulled this material together, shaping the future of our solar system. It clumped and collided forming a hot, molten planet. This was the beginning of Earth, a fiery ball of molten rock and lava. This was Earth in the Hadean Aeon, a time of intense heat and volcanic activity where the surface was a hellish landscape of erupting volcanoes and flowing lava. Then, a Mars-sized object, Theia, slammed into the young Earth with unimaginable force, altering its destiny forever. This catastrophic collision ejected a massive amount of debris into space, creating a ring of material around the Earth. That debris eventually coalesced to form our moon, a constant companion to Earth, stabilizing its rotation and influencing its tides. The early Earth was a hostile place, with a surface covered in molten lava and a sky filled with toxic gases. It was constantly bombarded by asteroids and comets, adding to the chaos and contributing to the formation of its surface. Gradually, over millions of years, Earth began to cool. The volcanic activity lessened and the surface started to solidify. The molten rock solidified into a solid crust, creating the first stable land masses. Water vapor in the atmosphere condensed, falling as rain and forming the first oceans, which would become the cradle of life. With oceans and a more stable environment, the stage was set for life to emerge, marking the next chapter in Earth's incredible journey. Deep within the early oceans, near hydrothermal vents, life first arose. These vents spewed hot, mineral-rich water into the ocean depths. Around these vents, single-celled organisms called prokaryotes emerged. They were simple life forms, but their arrival marked a turning point in Earth's history. These early organisms were extremophiles. They thrived in the harsh conditions of the early Earth. They didn't need sunlight to survive, instead they obtained energy from chemicals. For billions of years, these single-celled organisms were the only inhabitants of Earth. The Archean Aeon witnessed the slow, steady evolution of life. These early organisms were the ancestors of all life on Earth today. During the Proterozoic Aeon, a dramatic change occurred. Cyanobacteria, a type of bacteria, evolved the ability to photosynthesize. They used sunlight to create energy, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This oxygen began to accumulate in the atmosphere, forever changing the course of life on Earth. This great oxidation event was toxic to many early life forms, they couldn't survive in the presence of oxygen. However, it paved the way for the evolution of new, oxygen-breathing organisms. The first eukaryotic cells appeared containing a nucleus and other complex structures. Towards the end of the Proterozoic Aeon, the first multicellular organisms evolved. These simple animals lived in the oceans, marking another significant step in the evolution of life on Earth. Section 5, Paleozoic Era, An Explosion of Life This era marks one of the most significant periods in Earth's history, characterized by a dramatic increase in the diversity of life forms. The Paleozoic Era began with the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid diversification of life. This event, occurring around 541 million years ago, saw the emergence of most major animal phyla. During this time, an astonishing array of new plants and animals appeared in the oceans. The seas were filled with a variety of organisms, from simple sponges to complex trilobites and brachiopods. Creatures with shells, skeletons and other hard body parts evolved. These adaptations provided protection and support, allowing these organisms to thrive in their environments. 
life began to spread from the oceans to land. This transition was a monumental step in the history of life, as it opened up new habitats and opportunities for evolution. Plants colonized the continents followed by arthropods the ancestors of insects and spiders. These early land plants and arthropods played a crucial role in shaping terrestrial ecosystems. Vertebrates, animals with backbones also evolved during this time. The first vertebrates were jawless fish, which later gave rise to more advanced forms. Fish diversified and thrived in the oceans. They developed various adaptations such as fins and scales, which helped them navigate and survive in their aquatic environments. Amphibians, the first vertebrates to venture onto land, evolved from lobe-finned fish. These pioneering creatures had lungs and limbs that allowed them to explore terrestrial habitats. Reptiles, with their waterproof skin and amniotic eggs, soon followed. These adaptations enabled them to live in drier environments and lay eggs on land, further expanding the range of life on Earth. The Paleozoic era ended with the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. This catastrophic event wiped out approximately 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species, paving the way for the rise of the dinosaurs in the subsequent Mesozoic era. Section 6. Mesozoic Era, the Age of Reptiles. This era, spanning approximately 180 million years, is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Each period saw significant evolutionary advancements and diversification among reptiles. The Mesozoic Era is known as the Age of Reptiles. During this time, reptiles were the dominant vertebrates on land, in the sea, and in the air. The era began around 252 million years ago, following the largest mass extinction in Earth's history, and ended about 66 million years ago. Dinosaurs, the most iconic creatures of this era, evolved and dominated the planet for over 180 million years. They roamed the Earth in a variety of forms, from the towering, long-necked sauropods to the swift and deadly predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex. They diversified into a wide range of shapes and sizes, from the massive, long-necked sauropods to the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex. This incredible diversity allowed them to occupy various ecological niches, from herbivores grazing on lush vegetation to carnivores hunting other dinosaurs. Birds, the only surviving lineage of dinosaurs, also evolved during the Mesozoic era. These feathered creatures adapted to various environments eventually giving rise to the vast array of bird species we see today. Pterosaurs flying reptiles ruled the skies. With wingspans that could reach over 30 feet, these magnificent creatures were the first vertebrates to achieve powered flight, dominating the aerial realm for millions of years. The Mesozoic era was a time of warm climates and lush vegetation, providing ideal conditions for reptiles to thrive. The continents were arranged differently than they are today, creating unique ecosystems that supported a wide variety of life forms. However, this era came to a dramatic end with another mass extinction event. Volcanic activity, climate change, and other natural disasters contributed to the decline of many species. An asteroid impact 66 million years ago wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species, paving the way for the rise of mammals. This catastrophic event marked the end of the Mesozoic era and the beginning of a new chapter in Earth's history. Section 7. Cenozoic Era, The Rise of Mammals The Cenozoic Era, our current era, is known as the Age of Mammals. With the dinosaurs gone, mammals diversified and filled the ecological niches left vacant. They evolved into a wide variety of forms, from tiny shrews to giant whales. Primates, our own lineage also evolved during this time. Early primates were small, tree-dwelling creatures. Over millions of years they evolved larger brains, more complex social structures and eventually the ability to walk upright. The Cenozoic era has also been a time of significant climate change with periods of both warming and cooling. These climate fluctuations have shaped the evolution of life on Earth, leading to the diversity we see today. Section 8. Human History. A New Chapter in Earth's Story. The emergence of humans marks a new chapter in Earth's history. From our humble beginnings in Africa, humans have spread across the globe, impacting the planet in unprecedented ways. We've developed language, culture, and technology, shaping the world around us. Human activities have also had a profound impact on the planet. We've altered landscapes, driven species to extinction, and changed the climate. 
The choices we make today will determine the future of Earth and all its inhabitants. As we look to the future it's crucial to learn from our past. Understanding the long history of Earth and the challenges we face can help us create a more sustainable future for all. Section 9. Conclusion, Our Place in the Universe. Our journey through time has shown us the incredible resilience and interconnectedness of life on Earth. From the fiery chaos of its birth to the emergence of intelligent life, Earth's story is one of constant change and adaptation. As we explore the cosmos and search for life beyond our planet, we carry with us the lessons learned from our own planet's history. We are part of something much larger than ourselves, a vast and ancient universe full of wonder and mystery. By understanding our place in the universe, we can appreciate the preciousness of our home planet and work together to ensure its continued existence for generations to come.